salatu ve selamu ala rasuli la allahumma ballighna ramadan allah extend our lives that we may reach another ramadan amin this was the prayer of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wa sallam every year before ramadan for ramadan was a very special month to the blessed heart of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi uh, Ramadan was that month that hosted Laylat al Qadr, which was the anniversary of where the celestial met the terrestrial at Ghar Hira, at the cave of Hira, where Sayyidina Jibreel salam, descended upon the cave with the very first revelation to the blessed heart of the Prophet. And so he bequeathed that revelation to the Messenger of Allah and thus began that most intimate relationship between the Messenger of Allah and the Messenger of Allah. And so for the next 23 years, Sayyidina Jibreel alayhi salam would come to the blessed heart of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam with the advent of truth, with the verses that would contextualize for us the daily circumstances of the Prophet's life sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Among these verses are passages that directly address the blessed heart of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as he is experiencing the ebbs and flows of his seerah. Uh, and one such verse is in Surah Al-Qiyamah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, لَا تُحَرِّكْ بِهِ لِسَانَكَ لِتَعْجَلَ بِهِ إِنَّ عَلَيْنَا جَمْعَهُ وَقُرْآنَ فَإِذَا قَرَأْنَاهُ فَاتَّبَعْ قُرْآنَ ثُمَّ إِنَّ عَلَيْنَا بَيَانَ Move not your tongue quickly to make haste therewith. The Prophet ﷺ was moving his tongue quickly through the revelation as he was receiving the revelation in order not to forget the Qur'an. And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells him that it is our responsibility to compile it and to recite it to you. And so when we recite it, follow its recitation. And then it is upon us to clarify its meanings to you. So in this passage, we are given a glimpse uh, into the state of the Prophet wasallam, even when he is receiving the revelation, that he was worried that he would forget it. And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala addresses the Prophet wasallam in this most intimate way uh, in order to alleviate his concern. And so the Prophet wasallam stands vulnerable before his ummah, that we may be vulnerable before him, and that we may find in him that most intimate companion who will lead us through the trials and the tribulations of our lives as well. And so we invite you and your families to join us this Ramadan for a very special retreat, the weekend right before Ramadan, in which we will be looking at passages that directly address the blessed heart of the Prophet ﷺ, entitled, The Intimate Revelations, When God Addresses the Heart of the Prophet ﷺ, followed by our weekly Ramadan program every Saturday of the blessed month of fasting. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow us to reach Ramadan and may He allow you to achieve every spiritual aspiration that you have for the month. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. We're looking forward to hosting you. Jazakum Allah khairan. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh.